Hi, welcome to 2020 Tasty Treats with Gourmet Quarter. I'm Susan Clare, Gourmet Quarter, and we're having some um, fun with some dog appliques up behind me here. You can see some dogs starting to gather along on this wall. This is a picture of all 20 that we're doing. There's going to be a total of 20. We've done four so far. So we've got quite a variety going on here of different dogs. We're up to dog applique number five. There's a pattern available through GourmetQuarter.com for the um, applique dogs. And each, so for each day, a downloadable pattern comes to you by email and a video, this is the video showing you how it's done for 20 days. So we're up to day five. So what we've got here is, a, is the patterns all ready to trace. The pieces are numbered so that you can see which pieces go down first or the lower numbers are underneath uh, the other ones, the higher numbers. Um, I've, I'm using perm permanent marking pens to mark the eyes and in some cases the noses, but this time I'm appliquing the nose. So I've already gone ahead and marked his eyes. I've used the permanent black pen and then I've used a white gel pen for those little eye whites. Um, so other than that, I think we're ready to go to start positioning everything. It's fused raw edge applique. So I've got his neck on there. We can pop his head on next. And then there's a collar that sits just under his nose. So we want this to overlap about there probably. And they look a little strange without their ears, these little dog heads, I have to say. And that just sits just underneath there. And his, now, on the face, as well as the eyes to mark was, was his little um, sort of nose shape there. So I've marked that just with a pencil. I just used the light box to help me do that. Because I'll stitch that when I applique the nose so that we get to see that shaping as well. So his nose just goes on there. And then he's got some ears. He'll be very pleased when he's got some ears. And these just come so that they overlap the top sides. So you can use a few different colours. It's quite interesting. I haven't gone for super bright colours with these dogs because dogs are generally not bright coloured. That doesn't mean that they wouldn't like to be bright coloured, eh? So he's looking uh, pretty good there, I think. I'm just going to iron all that in place. I'm going to be free motion applique stitching. So I'm going to use a stabiliser. I've just got a cotton batting to sit behind. I've got my machine set up uh, with a open toe free motion foot on it. And I've got a dark grey thread and the feed teeth are dropped so that I can do the free motion. And we're ready to do some stitching. So I think we might come around that. We'll come around down around his nose first because it's a bit hard to see it the way it is now. But that's okay. So by using a darker grey thread that will help outline the shape. And you could always go over it a second time if you felt it needed a little bit more. I'll come back and do the nose separately, but I can actually now just skip on to do this ear. So the beauty of this free motion stitching is that you can go as fast or as slow as you like, you don't have to rush it, but it actually doesn't take very long, whichever way you do it. Um, so most of this is much the same now, so I might just keep going and get a little bit more done and I'll show you when I'm nearer the end. So I've gone around all of the, the neck and the collar and everything, but I still have to do this little mouth and his nose. So just go along and go back along that same stitching line. And then onto the nose and all the way around. And he will be done. I think he's looking 
quite smart. I'll give him a press, put him up with his friends up on the gallery up there, definitely fast turning into a pack of dogs up there. Quite happy. So that was dog applique number five, and I'll see you again with applique number six.